So welcome back to another video, I'm Vic your host. So today we're doing another gameplay and I'm gonna try out Barcelona and also I'm gonna try out in Dominators 442 tactics. I'm gonna leave the link to his video in the comments. If you don't know Indominator, he's a pro player. I think he actually plays for Arsenal at the moment and he has a YouTube channel with about 15,000 subscribers and he posts regularly some tips and stuff like that for, for new players. And I wanted to try out his tactics. So let's uh, run through the tactics, the tactical setup real quick here. So it's a 4-3-1-2 or basically it's a 4-4-2. And obviously from game to game I'm gonna use different players according to form and stuff like that. So let's focus on the setup here. We have it attacking instructions. It's gonna be counter, short pass through the middle while maintaining formation and having a low support range of 3. And then defensively we have frontline pressure, containment center, aggressive pressuring, Defensive line of 8 and also compactness of 8. So we want to try to win the ball high on the pitch and also try to like strangle the opposition while they are building up. Try to avoid giving them too much time. And offensively also with this setup, uh, the point here is to win the ball. When you get the ball, you have a lot of players making runs forward. And you have this short option passing opportunities. You can do like triangle plays. You can do combination one twos. We can do a lot of stuff here. Obviously, perhaps Barcelona is not the best team to try this this out with. But I want to do Barcelona. I got a request a couple of weeks ago to do some Barcelona tactics, and I think this could be worth trying out. Also, while I'm in Division Eight, why not try to experiment a little bit? before perhaps in a couple of weeks I'll make like a serious push trying to get back to division 5 or division 4 okay so we face leads for the first one 57 up the middle let's load up the tactics here and take a look at which players I have available Okay, so not too bad, but I'm gonna have to bench Roberto and start Dest instead. And then on the midfield, I have both my midfielders out, so... I guess it will be Ricky Puig and Pedri, I guess, for this one. So I'm not too familiar with these guys. Orchestrator and a playmaker. He has the double touch. Okay, so both of them has the double touch, so good workout. And so it always takes me like two or three games to get used to the players and the new team. I think I have a pretty pretty good idea of how this team is gonna act. Look how low my team is, even though I'm going with an 8 defensive line and also frontline pressure. Doesn't make any sense. Let's see if it was only for the kickoff. Jordi. Coutinho here. Oh, so close. I can't believe the slow acceleration of players sometimes. Makes no sense. Jesus.
<laughs> Vad gemulig! Okay, so we lose the first one. So let's see, we face Newcastle. So he plays 64 up the middle. Let's take a look at the players here. Oh my god, what is this? Seriously, what is this? Okay, so we're gonna do like this. And we're gonna keep Messi, even though he's on uh, orange. And uh, yeah, let's hope I can get something going here. But we have uh, Coutinho out, Griezmann out, Dembele out, De Jong out, Roberto out, Alba is out. Let's see if I can avoid the stupid mistakes that I did in the last game. With the playing out from behind, I took a little bit too much time. I need to pass quicker. Preferably do like one touch passing. Easier said than done though. We need to get Messi like uh, facing forwards so we can do some feints. Like this. Ooh, so close. That has to be a penalty. I understand that Dembele is probably not playing as good as he can because of the position. Let's see how Ricky Puig here. Ricky! Oof. Oh. Ooh. How do pro players manage to play like this? I, I can't understand. See here, Messi. There we go. No. Oh my god. Here we go. Messi here. Yes. We get a couple of goals on uh, on winning the ball back high. So that part of the game is actually working on the front line pressure. Okay, so we win it by a couple of late goals. We win the ball back high and we score two, two simple goals, really. We definitely take some time to get used to this. I'm so used to playing on the wings. Okay, so we finally face Bayern. And he plays uh, pretty balanced, 50 up the middle. Okay, so for this one, uh, Griezmann is out. I'm gonna start Dembele. And then Pjanic is also out, so I'm gonna start uh, Riki. And that will be it. He's playing some kind of... Is that his formation? That is insane. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get, really get in trouble playing this uh, this formation I'm using now, actually. Let's see if we can adjust a little bit. Okay, so Busquets. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna man mark Shupomoting with Busquets. Then I just, I just have to have man marking on these uh, midfielders as well. I have no more option really. C could get really ugly if I don't, so... And then I'm gonna, on compactness... I'm gonna do like two compactness. Let's see how it works out. If I get some counters, I will get lots of space, obviously. I tried to tackle with both Lenglet and Alba there. No one responded. It feels like he has a massive boost, like from the from the start of the game here already. Just because of the way the players are are moving. We have to cover there. Come on.
Come on. No, no. <laughs> How? I was so surprised that I got the chance there. Typical like 90 minute defending. The AI just decides that here's some space. Usually like one of the defenders uh, cancels the offside line or something like that. So we pick up some more points and we have two clean sheets in a row. Finland, so actually we're facing like every type of team today. 64 up the middle. Okay, not too bad, but uh, PK is out. Perhaps I'll try out this Araujo guy. Nah, I'm gonna start with MTT. And then on the midfield, Busquets is out. Okay, so I'm gonna start Araujo as the holding midfielder. Pjanic is also out. I'm gonna start Pedri. And Sergio Roberto. Pietri. Oof. The young. Ooh. Jesus. Oof. What I really miss with this team is you don't have the typical striker. You're basically playing with midfielders all over the place. Or not midfielders per se, but it's like it's more like creative player styles. You don't have that goal poacher like Luis Suarez. With ends in a draw, we keep our undefeated streak. Uh, I think we're gonna manage to to, to reach the relegation safe zone, but promotion is out of the question. <clears throat> so we're facing like every kind of team today. This guy plays pretty balanced, 52 up the middle. Okay, so for this one, I don't think we have any good goalie. Uh, let's see who we got here. Okay, I'm gonna start in Yaki Pena, actually. I'm not risking like having a red goalie. Okay, and Lengle is out. Also Umtiti is out. I'm gonna start Araujo. Uh, like this, and then everyone else is good to go. I feel like this team is so passive on the press, like defensively. Although I'm doing like uh, the aggressive pressuring and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like activate the press manually or something. I'm missing something. Yes, Sergio Roberto. Oi, oi, oi. So close. There we go. Come on.
Look at that pass. Are you kidding me? Okay, so he disconnects and we get the win. I think we we would have won the game anyway, so let's skip ahead to the next one. Okay, so we have Juventus. 58 up the middle. Okay, let's see here. Actually, I'm gonna start for this one. I'm gonna start Braithwaite. And then... It's gonna be Riki and Pedri in the midfield. Like this. Then Messi is gonna start even though he's on orange. I'm gonna pull these guys a little bit back. And I'm gonna do man marking on Dybala. I don't think the kit selection was the was the best choice. I'm having a little bit of a problem. Like separating the two kits. Oh, so close. Actually, in this game, because I had Braithwaite, I'm gonna do like more like crosses and stuff like that. Try to get some chances that way. There we go. Coutinho. I'm gonna try keeping it as simple as possible offensively. Just pass, 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 pass. Like, at the most, do two touches with a player. Oof. Come on, guys. You're the Almeyer. There we go. Get the ball the way out of there. Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> okay, so we pick up the win against a really tough Juventus side. We play pretty well actually, and I think I'm getting a little bit used to this kind of setup, tactical setup. I need to pass the ball quickly, pass, 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 and then have the players make the movement for you instead of having like to think too much about where to pass it. Just pass it to an open player and everything will sort itself out. Players will start to move around and you will get some passing options. Okay, so I'm facing a guy is rated 1547. That's 1547. Let's take a look here. He plays 63 up the middle. And for my team, I'm gonna start... Let's see, Pjanic is out. I have to start Riki Puig. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Griezmann as the attacking midfielder, and then I'm gonna start Braithwaite. And I'm gonna do man marking on uh, Thomas Müller, like this. I think this is probably the highest rated player I've played. Like in general, both for my club and for online divisions. I'm perfectly fine with this guy beating me, obviously, he's a re really good player, but if he gets, like, lucky bounces and stuff like that.
That is just insane. I mean, the second half was a little bit uh, tighter, a little bit closer, because. I, um, but I think it was because he went on blue and he played safely. He just played to conserve the lead. <clears throat> okay, so we have PSG, uh, 58 up the middle. So Lengle is gonna sit, gonna start MTT. And then we have Busquets and Coutinho out, and also Puig and Pedri is out. So I guess what I could do, I could do Sergio Roberto as the holding midfielder, and then I'm gonna start a test like this. And then I'm gonna do Griezmann again as the attacking midfielder, and Braithwaite is gonna start up front. What's going on? <laughs> That's the most insane thing I've ever seen. That was so crazy. Ah, come on. Really tough game, but we actually don't concede any shots. So even though it was really frustrating to play offensively, defense worked out pretty well. Okay, so I'm going to do man marking on Eriksen with uh, Busquets and I'm uh, really curious to see how he will act in offense with that setup. Perhaps I can push my fullbacks way up. I have nothing to lose anyway so it's worth trying out. Jesus.
Allez, attends, on s'en va. Okay, so we have Everton here. Let's make sure the kits are different enough. Yeah, let's do like this. Okay, 75 up the middle. Okay, so Umtiti again. It's gonna start. And then I'm gonna do Dest on the left. And then we have these midfielders out again. So both Riki and uh, Pedri are gonna start. I think I'm gonna manmark Iwobi here. Uh, oh, he's changing it up. So it's gonna be Joshua King. So this is gonna be the last game of the season. And... Uh, I mean, one thing I've noticed playing with this setup, there's so little space in the middle. <laughs> Look at this. This is what I mean. There's so little space. <laughs> it's almost comical sometimes. I actually think this formation, it could actually work for another team with another set of players. For example, a team like Inter, I think, would be really effective with this team, with these uh, tactics. Perhaps I will try it out. And then Pedri stops his run, oh my god. Jesus Christ, guys. I mean, what's go- <laughs> What's going on now? Seriously, what's going on? I'm not playing the deep defensive line or anything like that, and my defense is way back. I mean, there must be some kind of momentum switch going on here. Because at the moment he's getting every bounce. Everything is going perfectly his way. See here, Messi. Ah. Are you serious? So, I feel I was a bit lucky to get, uh, to get the three points here. That's gonna wrap up the video. One season with Barcelona and the Indominator 442 Diamond Tactic. I think with a different team, this could actually work out pretty well. Also, if you make some minor adjustments. But it really depends on the players you have available. And I would actually try to... I will give this formation one more try with another team. And uh, I'm not decided which team I'm going to choose yet, but that's going to be my next video. If you followed along, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.